Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about using hardware encoding on FFmpeg on a Mac. And I have the website here for FFmpeg and it talks about hardware acceleration. I'll put a link in the description to all these links I talk about. I'll also put a link to my FFmpeg playlist where I have a bunch of uh, videos on FFmpeg. So if we look on this page, we can look at the platform API availability and we can look at Apple here and it lists OpenCL and Video Toolbox. And that's the one we're interested in. And if we scroll down here, we can look at Video Toolbox, and it says there's an encoder on Video Toolbox here. So we can look at, I did another video, I'll put a link in the description of this too, on finding your CPU on a Mac. So I found out I have an i-5257U, and that's a Broadwell processor. So on the Wikipedia page for Intel QuickSync video, we can look at the Broadwell processor and we can see that it has MPEG-2 and H.264 um, encoding and decoding. So if you're looking to buy a computer, um, say like a used computer, and you want something that does like HEVC, you'll need to look at, say, like a Skylake or an Apollo Lake uh, computer. So you can look at this as a guide to tell what is potentially available. So your FFmpeg has to support it, but then also the hardware has to support it too. So, and then also there's this Wikipedia page that talks about processors by a family. So here's the Broadwell processor, and I have the MacBook Pro here with the Core i5, and it talks about um, you know some of the things it supports. So I'll minimize this here. So I'm gonna talk about some FFmpeg commands, and I'll put a link in the description of my website where I'll list these commands out so you can copy and paste them to play with them yourself. Uh, what I did, I already ran these tests here, uh, and I wanna show you, I have this video. It's a 4K video of a train here. I don't have a 4K display. Uh, this is only 720p, but you can see this video here I shot. Okay, so if we want to save that as a 1080p, we want to re-encode that 4K as a 1080p video, we can use the H.264 codec. So the one I have here would be this uh, libx264. On a Mac, you're going to want to use the H.264 underscore video toolbox. And let's look at that real quick. So you can type in ffmpeg space dash encoders, and that'll list all the encoders that you can use. Let's do that again, and we'll put pipe grep space toolbox. And if we do that, we're going to see H.264 underscore tool video toolbox, and then HEVC, which is H.265 video toolbox. So these are the two encoders we have. So as I start out saying my computer supports H.264, it does not support HEVC. So you can try and use this, but you're going to get an error. But we want this here, this H.264 underscore video toolbox. And this will use the hardware encoding as opposed to the software encoding. And the advantage of that is it's a lot faster. So I'll show you here if I can find both my screens. So I ran these tests here, and the top one was with hardware encoding, and the bottom was with the software encoding. And you see here, this took one minute, 30 seconds, and the bottom one took three minutes, 43 seconds. So the top is hardware, the bottom is software. So it was a lot faster to use the hardware encoder. But I'm gonna show you some issues here. So we, I looked at the original, and then if we uh, take that uh, video toolbox and we add that as our codec here and encode it, it encodes very fast, but we'll, let's look at this video. You see it's very blurry here. So it didn't uh, encode very well, and it looks really bad. Let's close that now. So what we want to do, what I like to do is, uh, let me clear this screen is I like to run a test. So I have this um, command here I ran, which uh, was running using the libx264. So this is kind of the default h.264 uh, encoder. So I ran this, and if you start running this and then hit Q, it will stop. So I recorded, I don't know, like so many seconds, I forget how many. Um, and then if we go and type ffmpeg, let me get in my directory here, we can type ffprobe, and then train underscore test. And if we do that, we can see this bit rate here. So this looked good. I have a sample of it. So we'll hit this. And you can see this looks very sharp. So this recorded at 6658 uh, kilobits per second. So I just copied that. Um, I actually changed it to um, 6700. I just rounded up a little bit. So um, the default encoder seems to pick a good bit rate. The hardware encoder doesn't. So I used the software encoder to find out the bit rate. 
And then I ran this command here, which is the, oh, I have these two commands. These are the same command here. Um, the top one uses the hardware encoder, the bottom uses the software encoder. So that's all you have to do is put that in there. And then I did dash B colon V and then 6700 K. So let me walk through the whole command here. So we have FFmpeg dash I. So this is inputting the train.mp4 file. And we have VF, which is video filter. And then we scale that to 1920 by 1080. And then the audio codec we copy. Then the video codec, we have our hardware on top, software encoder on the bottom. And then we change the bit rate of the video to 6700K. And then we have the name of the output file. So if we look here, we have these two. So we have the train underscore hardware, train underscore software, um, and they're both about 83 megabytes. So there's like slight difference because the software is 0.5 megabytes bigger. But if we look at that, so this was the uh, hardware encoder originally. If we up the bit rate on that, you see it's very clear now. And then we'll go to the software version looks more or less the same. So, um, you know, when do you use this? Well, if you're using H.264, especially if you're encoding a lot of videos, you can find out your bit rate you want to use and then use the hardware encoder because it's a lot faster. It doesn't uh, use the CPU, it uses the special encoding features of the CPU as opposed to just using the CPU to calculate the uh, codec. So that's uh, the basics of using hardware encoding on a Mac. If you have any questions, because I know this can be kind of complicated, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.